people welcome back to my channel you know what i want to talk about today guys toys yeah toys guys um as you know i've got a game room it's full of games but it's those little finishing touches isn't it those little um toys and uh yeah and other bits and bobs around the game room that make it uh look that little bit mm, nicer a little bit tastier, shall we say. So yeah, this video is going to be about the toys in my game room and the merchandise related stuff that's in here, guys. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of gathering it all around me, I shall uh, go to the certain bits and bobs as they're in place. I've added a few new bits as well so that you haven't seen yet because obviously I haven't been doing any pickups videos because I haven't been picking up enough to do a video. But I've added a few bits here and there. So... Yeah, shall we have a look at the toys in my collection and the merchandise as such? Special edition figures and things like that? Yeah? Okay then. Well, mind you, there's only one special edition figure, really. But what are you going to do, eh? Hmm. So yeah, guys, that's what we're going to do. So I'll go over to the bigger ones in place, and, uh, and then I'll gather up the little ones and show them at the end. So yes, guys, this is going to be a toys and merchandise video. So, join me again in a second as we go over to the first one. Okay. Well, we'll start with the biggest one, guys, which is, of course, the uh, Division 2 figure here. You've seen this. Uh, I did an unboxing of it at the time. Um, picked it up from CEX when I did a big, massive trade-in. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful figure, as you can see there. Let's move in a bit closer so you can see it properly. We'll start at the bottom... Yeah, lovely bloody uh, work on this. The detail in it is absolutely awesome. Fantastic, fantastic thing in that. Yeah, that is a that is a doozy to start with there. Of course, that is a special edition. No shit, Sherlock. And then just above it, guys, we've got the first of uh, my Skylanders sets, which. Never come out of the box, they just sit in there, basically. There we are, there's one of them. Let's move in a bit again, so you can actually see kind of what's in there without opening it. There we are. Yeah, nice, nice set that. So yeah, that is the first of the lot. Right, we shall move on to the next, guys. Right, here's the next one, guys. My Angry Bird Speaker. He's a little beauty. He's picked him up from a charity shop. I do believe I paid about five or three, something like that. Uh, he's a lovely little fella. There he is with his matching controller. He's gorgeous. I love him. I'd like to get some of the others as well. And then just behind him, guys, is my Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, basically like a scale extric um oliver likes to play this we we get it out now and again for him to have a little play on as you can see there i like the the uh the logos on there very very rough box came from a charity shop again i do believe i paid about three quid for it it's a nice enough thing to have standing on your shelf and as i said oliver likes to have a little play on it now and again i'm uh, moving back over to piggy there we go Right, we'll move on next. So, uh, shall I say we move on to the next bit, guys? Right, here we go. This is a new pickup, guys. I actually got this today. When I went down to get the essentials, I had to buy myself a non-essential. Yeah, I picked this up from uh, B and M. It's a lovely little set. This, uh, obviously Mario, um, Super Mario, in fact. Uh, you got Yoshi, Mario, Luigi, and Koopa. They're uh, so nicely detailed. They, they, they really are. They're lovely, lovely looking things. There we are. 
see past the glare of the plastic. But yeah, lovely, lovely set that. Of course, it's never going to be opened. It's going to stay like that. And let's have a look at the back of it, guys. Just turn it around a sec. It says there's Yoshi behind there on the wall. <laughs> and there we are. There's the back of it, guys. As I say, lovely, lovely thing, that. Yeah, lovely thing. Now we're moving back round, so he's back in place. Hello, Yoshi. What are you doing behind there, you little devil? Yeah, I'm going to have to move these posters. They're getting a bit hidden now, guys, as more and more goes into this room. So, yeah, lovely set, that. Then we move on to a little, a little thing I picked up at a flea market-type place in uh, Rochester. Uh, we were out on a charity shop hunt, and I picked him up. Yeah, he's a lovely thing. World of Nintendo there, guys. It's the Fire Mario, of course. Lovely, lovely little thing. Again, never been opened. Gorgeous little thing, that. Let's have a look at the back of him, shall we? There we are. Yeah, lovely looking thing. Very, very pleased to add that. Then, guys, we move on to another new one. Again, from B&M's, they're doing a bit of a sale on their bits and bobs of, of Nintendo. This, of course, is a, a pullback and, and a race, if you like. Yeah, pullback. Yeah, pullback races. Super Mario again. This is for the Nintendo Wii, guys. So it shows you this has got a bit of edge to it. There's Yoshi there, sitting on his little cart. How cool is that? There's the uh, logo, as you can see, Nintendo Wii branded. So yeah, this has got a bit of edge to it. That is uh, a nice, nice thing to pick up. And I do believe I paid about four quid for it. Let's turn them round and see the different ones you can get there. There we are. I'll zoom in a bit for you there. There's all the different ones you can get. Nice, nice thing. And once again, it will never leave the box. It'll stay right there. So yeah, another lovely, lovely thing. There we go. Show it again. I'll step back a bit so you can see all of them. There we are. Lovely little lot that. Right, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Right, more Skylanders, guys. Here's uh, Skylanders Giants. At the top there. We just about see what's in there. Obviously, you get the portal. And some of those figures there. Yeah, that's a lovely little set again. Very, very pleased to get that in the box. Again, never comes out, just sits in there looking pretty. And just below it, we have Skylanders Spiros Adventures. That is a fantastic one to get hold of in the box. Very, very stoked for that one. As you can see there, guys, uh, hopefully you can see past the plastic. Yeah, you get another portal there, the game and everything. Obviously, you always get the game in them. Yeah, that is a little stonker as well, guys. Yeah, very pleased to get these Skylanders in the box. You find them loose all the bloody time. Um, but to find them in a the box like that complete is a different story, of course. Yeah, very pleased with that. Right, onwards and upwards, guys. Here we just have the base, guys, to the uh, the Wii U Skylanders um, uh, superchargers. There we are, there's the base and the game. It didn't come boxed, unfortunately, this one. There's the game there. Yeah, there's a base. Yeah, unfortunately, not boxed, that one. That's a shame. But this moves us nicely up here, he says, as we scroll up to here. And there we have this little beauty here. Yeah, this is the Gears of War. I do believe by the sticker, obviously because it tells you right on the sticker, that this was included in a loop crate at one time. But what a fabulous thing. Let's go closer into it. Now I'll scroll down for you to see it properly. This is one that you can paint yourself. I'm not going to. It's never going to be opened. And I'm certainly not going to paint it. I want to keep it exactly as it is. But this is so detailed, guys. It's incredible. Hopefully the camera does it a bit of justice. But look at the detail on that. 
That is a stunner. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get him down and show you the back again. Uh, stand him up. So you can actually see it better. We'll go from the bottom up. McFarlane, of course, one of the best in the business for it. So yeah, the detail on this, guys, is, is a stunning, stunning thing. Let's turn that around again so you can see if I can get the detail in a bit better. Look at that. I mean, it would look beautiful if I bothered to get it painted, but I just don't want to... Uh, Upset the apple cart, as you say. I, I like them to be as they are. There we go, a loot crate, as I said, guys. So yeah, we'll put him back. That is a little little uh, gem, that. And again, from a charity shop, guys, and I think I paid about £2.50 for him. So worth the money all day long. I might be wrong on some of these prices. If you look back on my pickups, you get the correct price. But it was about that, £2.50, something like that. So what a stunner that is. And that brings us down to the next one, guys. A plushie this time. Yeah, you've seen him many times in my videos. He came from a charity shop as well, and I do believe he cost me four quid. It's Link. And he's lovely. Look at him. Oh, he's getting a bit dusty down here. Look. Oh, look at all the dust on his leg. Look. Oh, dear. But yeah, it's Link, guys. The cartoony Link. Yeah, he's a gorgeous little fella, he is. Aren't you, Link? Yes, you are. You're gorgeous. Yeah, he's a beautiful thing. Right, as I say, guys, onwards and up. Oh, no, let's pick him up. Oh, I'm not giving him enough attention. There we go, guys. There's the back of him, look. With his shield and everything, look. How could I ignore that and just move on? Isn't he gorgeous, eh? Little beauty he is. Put you back on top of the, uh, the Wii U pad link, eh? About falling down, preferably. There we go. Then just down here, guys, is a random bit there. Um, a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, very tatty looking one. Because the kids have been mullering it, no doubt. Yep. Yeah. Then we can move over. And we have my uh, Amiibo Festival. Mm. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Yeah, this is a lovely little set. You know, oh, we all know we slag it off and Amiibo Festival wasn't the greatest of Animal Crossings, was it? But uh, it's a nice little set if you can actually see it there. Yeah, you get the game and everything in there as well, of course. Yeah. There we go. That is, a, again, a lovely thing. And I picked that up, guys, in Poundland for about uh, three quid, I do believe. Oh, no, it was a fiver, I think. Let's turn him round as well. There we go, so you can have a look at the back of it there, guys. Yeah, stunning, stunning thing to have it all nicely boxed and everything. I know they, they bang them out for quite a bit of money now, like uh, £10 or something in the CEX. So, yeah, I made a fiver there buying it in the pan land. Right, then we move down again, guys. Uh, Let's have a look. Yeah, uh, you've seen this recently. This is a soundtrack from Mario Rabbids. Yeah, yeah, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. It's a soundtrack, guys. Which I think was a promo thing from uh, somewhere. Yeah, it's the official soundtrack from it. So that's a nice little thing as well. A bit of memorabilia. Then I don't want to show the top of this box because... Uh, that's the name I'm going to show in a minute. I'm standing on top of it, of course. So I'll move him out of the way in a minute. This is a, a cup. It's one of those cups when it heats up, it turns different colour. Now, my uh, my daughter and her other half, her you know, better half, um, got this for me. Yeah, it's an absolutely stunning mug. It'll never get used. Sorry, Kim. It'll never get used. You know me. I like to keep these things, but lovely, lovely to have that. I won't open it up right now. You can see exactly what's in there by the picture. But yeah, when you put the uh, hot liquid in it, it changes colour. So hot's blue and cold red. How funny is that? It should have been the other way around, shouldn't it? Yeah, right. 
we'll move on to the next thing guys right here's another nice little one guys um that my daughter got me as well and the rubby um never been taken out of the plastic again never going to use it it's a nes uh, wallet lovely lovely thing again yeah absolutely lovely yeah do love it but it'll never be taken out and hence it's standing in a stand and you can't really see it very well through this plastic now just tucked away at the back there i won't pull it out is the atari flashback um official guide which again is a lovely book really really nice book another nice piece of uh, memorabilia there yeah but yeah that 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 wallet is a little beauty never be used but I love to look at it just on display, guys. It's uh, lovely. Right, onwards and upwards. Now here is the abundance of Disney Infinity bases, guys. There's one there. Then there's a Lego Dimensions one there. And he moves over to here. And there's another one tucked away down there with some of the, uh, the discs on top. Look. Seriously. How many more of these things could you want? And that's not even all, guys. There's more somewhere. Really tucked up. Probably in this new edition here somewhere. Yeah, I just got this. Uh, to sort all my cables out. Much more sufficient way of doing it. Yeah, that looks uh, looks lovely now, standing there. With the rest of the setup here. As you can see. Looks really, really good. And look, I can, look, I can spot another bloody Disney Infinities one up there. But yeah, what a fantastic, he says, stepping back more. Fantastic way of keeping your cables all sorted. Brilliant, absolutely stunning, and it looks so bloody good. But yes, here you go, guys, look. What did I say? Another bloody one there, look, tucked up in the corner. Yeah, but that brings us nicely down to here now with a, a Pikachu carry case. Bit of memorabilia again, doesn't get used. Just a bit of memorabilia, really. Lovely looking bloody thing though, love it. And tucked away down there is a Pokemon Heroes DVD. Again, nice thing to have in the collection. I'm just starting to collect all the gaming DVDs. I want to I try and get as many as bloody possible in existence. I know there's a tons of them. But that was a bloody good start, that one. From a charity shop for a quid. Can't go wrong, can you? Then moving down here guys, there we have my Starlink, the only set I've got at the moment, I'm planning on getting a lot more. Yep, Starlink Battle for Atlas, starter pack. There we are, hopefully you can see through the plastic, there's your ship and all the bits and bobs, yep, fantastic thing. Really, really lovely. Any more Disney Infinity tucked up now? Good. Right, back with the next lot, guys. Right, guys, we're going to end this, um, because I don't have a great deal of this stuff. Um, but, you know, it's, it's getting there. You can, I'm picking up more and more bits and bobs as we go. We're going to end it with the Loose Toys to Life, guys. So it's a mix of Disney Infinity. I do believe, actually, all of this could be Disney Infinity. Well, we'll see, won't we? Yes, I think it's all Disney Infinity, guys. So no Loose Skylanders. Well, here we go. We'll have a look at them all individually. There we are. With some of the names, I'm not even going to bother trying. I know, obviously, he's Scully. There's some discs and crystals and so on. And there is it, or whatever, from, yeah, Frozen. I believe that's her, is it? Mm, who knows? More bits and bobs. There's Captain Jack. Yeah, it was Anna, because here is, uh, whatever the caller, what's her name again? It's eluding me. Oh, what are you called again? Oh, whatever. There we go. Hey, Spidey. They are so detailed, aren't they? This is why I love them so much. They're so bloody detailed, just as figures, you know? They really are quite stunning. Elsa. That's who it is, Elsa. It came to me in the end, guys. 
But yeah, absolutely love the detail on these things, guys. They're fantastic. Yeah, beautiful looking things. Look at that Thor. Wow. Do you believe that's a repeat? Oh, yes, it's a repeat. Yeah, stunning. Stunning looking bloody figures. And here comes my favourite one. The end one, the last one. It's Yoda, the little bugger. Look at him. How cute is he? And lots more discs. Yeah. So that's a bit good, isn't it? Shall we go and focus him back on him? So yes, guys, uh, that was all the things in place. Let's have a look at uh, just uh, a handful, really, of uh, loose ones, shall we, to end this video? Right, coming up. Right, well, that was all right, wasn't it, eh? Yeah, I know it's not a huge amount of... Uh, toys and memorabilia that I have. There is more around guys, tucked up. Uh, I've got lots of books and uh, oh yeah that that was one of the books I actually missed guys. Um, I'll try and grab it without knocking everything down. This again was from my lovely lovely daughter and this is a gorgeous book guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That is a stunner isn't it eh? Bloody lovely that is. Yeah, see, I missed him. How did I bloody miss that, eh? I mean, it is literally fantastic quality. It's just an art book, guys, but look at it. It looks like... Oh, wow. It's gorgeous looking. That is a lovely, lovely thing. Yeah, so thank you, Kimberly and Alan, for that one as well. But yeah, that's a stunner, that one, guys. An absolute stunner. I love that. Right, let's put it down carefully and I'll put him back in a minute. After I've knocked all my bloody uh, light guns down. Ooh. Right, okay, these are the loose ones, guys, I was talking about. Uh, I'll do the... Uh, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I'll do the non-Mario-related one first, guys. Well, in a way, he is Mario-related, because he was Jump Man on this game. Donkey Kong, guys. There he is. The little bugger. Oh, it's a little... Rubberized plastic figure there. He's lovely. He is a little monkey, literally. He used to be a keyring, but Oliver decided to rip the keyring out of him, wherever it was, in his back or somewhere. But yeah, he's a lovely, just a lovely little figure to have standing on the shelf. Really, he's gorgeous. Look at him. Oh, that bloody face looks like me when I wake up in the morning. Ooh, yeah, I love him. Then we'll start with the Mario ones. Um. There is a lot to be said, guys, because the next four are all McDonald's toys, guys. Now, when McDonald's occasionally do Nintendo or any game-related um, toys that you get with your Happy Meals, make sure you get a blinking Happy Meal. If you haven't got any kids, don't worry about it. Just get it for yourself. Get those bloody toys and get as many of them as you possibly can. I wish I had over the years. I really do. But here we go. This is a McDonald's one, and it's Yoshi. Look how bloody detailed that is. Look at it. It's absolutely brilliant. And uh, do you believe that when you press his back? Yeah, there's the button. Look. His tongue sticks out. Look at that. It's fun. And it's a lovely thing to have sitting on a shelf. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely blinding. And that's the thing with the McDonald's ones. They all do something. Like that it might just be simple. This dog comes out, you know. Look, you can get it out that far if you want. <laughs> yeah, I love him. Yes, they all do something. That's the thing. Well, I'm saying that one of them here doesn't, but it's a more vintage one. Um, here we've got uh, Mario. <laughs> oh, that looked cool, eh? He looks like he should have something in his hand, but I don't think he did. Possibly did he had something in his hand at one time. I've got a couple of these kicking around. Uh, Oliver tends to make them go wandering. And I think it did have something in its hand. Can't remember quite what. Again, look, his hand goes, yeah, he, he definitely had something in his hand you can you can see there. Might even have been a, almost like a hockey stick or something. 
Yeah, something like that. A little helmet and what have you. Yeah. Again, the detail, guys, is fantastic. And these, these figures that you get with a Happy Meal. Another little gem. And the next one, guys. This one's still got a sticker on the back of it. I bought this from a charity shop, like 99p. Never even took it off. What a div. But yeah, it's Mario again, guys. As you can see. And he's, yeah, he's whacking the, uh, what power-ups am I going to get box? Look again, the detail on that. Just another McDonald's toy, guys. And with this one, you literally press that and it makes it spin round, he says. If I can get hold of it good enough to do it. Oh, here we go. Never work with children, pets and toys, eh? Mm. Yeah, well, that spins around anyway when I get it right. So, yeah, another little stunner. Yeah, the detail is fantastic. Right, the last one, guys, is a little a little gem, this one, because this one's a vintage one, and I'm just looking at it thinking, what has Oliver done to it? It looks like he's drawn in pen on it. <laughs> oh, well, it's Princess Peach. Yeah, this one's got a bit more age to it, guys. Can't quite remember what the age of it is. I'm trying to look now, but my eyesight's being ancient and everything. No, I can't see it in this light, guys. But, yeah, it's got quite some age to this one. And it's, uh, of course, it's Peach, isn't it? And it literally, this does nothing. It just stands there and looks pretty. But, yeah, look at the detail again, guys. That is lovely. As I say, this one's got a bit more age to it. And... Oliver's done a bit of painting on it, so I have to try and get that off with a bloody wet wipe now. Yeah, there we go. And in fact, Oliver has got quite a few more of these toys, because I have actually got quite a few more. But he's got them hidden away somewhere in his uh, pit of a room, because he keeps nicking them and taking them off. Can't blame him, he's a child, you know what I mean? He's going to do it, isn't he? You've got to expect these things to happen, but there you go. But yeah. Princess Peach, and that's the more vintage one in the collection. Not got a great deal of age to it, but it's it's more vintage than the others. Let's put it that way. So yes, guys, that was a bit of a quick video, really, because it's just looking at the uh, yeah the toys to life, memorabilia, and toys in general, like uh, Happy Meal toys and what have you. I could have included other bits and bobs in this because you could consider some of the plug-in and players to be toys and what have you, and some of the the peripherals like the uh, you know the u drawers and all that but if i'd have done that as well it would have been a bit pointless wouldn't it this is about toys toys and figures and uh stuff like that memorabilia so yeah that's it guys yeah what a quick video that was so i hope you enjoyed it anyway guys it's a bit of something different for a change isn't it yeah of course it is and you you saw my new storage solution for my cables to boot so i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe and tap that bell icon as usual, guys, to be up and be open, to be informed of when I upload another video, guys, which will be today at some point. Yes, it will. Mm. So, yes, guys, with all that said, I'm going to say off Wiedersehen, tschüss and goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.